Welcome back to our deep dive into one of the most fascinating species in the universe, the Yacha, commonly known as predators. Today, we will explore the mysterious and complex reproduction cycle of these formidable hunters. The Yacha are a highly advanced and warrior-centric species known for their hunting prowess and strict code of honor. But beyond their fearsome exterior lies a unique and intricate process of reproduction. So, how do these alien hunters bring new life into their clans? Let's dive in and find out. The Yacha society is matriarchal, meaning females play a crucial role, not only in leadership but also in the continuation of their species. Unlike human society, Yacha females are often larger and more physically imposing than their male counterparts. This size and strength advantage makes them well-suited for the demanding process of reproduction. For the regular Yacha, reproduction is similar to humans, involving male and female mating. However, the act can be more aggressive than it is for our own species. The females have an orifice between their legs that serves as a channel for childbirth, which is protected by armor due to its importance and vulnerability. On the other hand, the males most likely have gonads and a phallic reproductive organ, although this has never been explicitly depicted in the lore. Both male and female yacha protect their crotch areas with armor, highlighting the significance and vulnerability of these regions. This armor is essential, not just in battle but also in daily life, ensuring their reproductive organs are safeguarded. Courtship among yacha is a fascinating process. Males display not only their physical prowess, but also their hunting skills. It's common for a male to present a trophy from a successful hunt as a gift to the female, symbolizing his ability to provide and protect. This gift giving is a crucial part of the mating ritual, reinforcing the importance of hunting in their culture. Unlike reptiles, which lay eggs, yacha give birth directly to their young. The gestation period for a yacha is several months, during which the female's physiology undergoes significant changes to support the developing offspring. Female yacha have breasts and nipples which are lacking in males, suggesting they might nurse their young, although this aspect is not heavily explored in the lore. During gestation, the embryos develop within the mother's womb, drawing nourishment directly from her. The process is complex and highly efficient, ensuring the young are born fully formed and ready to begin their harsh training in the ways of survival. When the time comes, the female gives birth to live young, known as pups. These pups are immediately attended to by their mother, who ensures they are healthy and strong. Unlike many Earth species, Yacha pups are relatively self-sufficient from birth, though they still rely heavily on their mother and clan for guidance and protection in their early stages of life. From a very young age, Yacha pups are taught the skills necessary to become successful hunters. This includes tracking, stealth, combat, and the use of various weapons. The training is rigorous and unrelenting, ensuring that only the strongest and most capable survive to adulthood. Training sessions often involve real hunts, where young yacha must prove their abilities by capturing live prey. The role of the elder females is crucial during this developmental phase. They provide not only training but also wisdom and guidance, instilling the values and traditions of their culture into the next generation. This ensures the continuity of their society and the preservation of their honored hunting traditions. Elder females also teach the young about the history of their people, the significance of their rituals, and the importance of their code of honor. As the young Yacha grow and develop, they gradually take on more challenging hunts, proving their worth and skill. This rite of passage is essential for their acceptance into adult society and for earning their place among the esteemed ranks of Yacha warriors. Each successful hunt is a step towards becoming a full-fledged member of the clan, and these milestones are celebrated with ceremonies and markings that signify their achievements. Coming of age in Yacha society is marked by a significant ceremony where young adults receive marks of honor from the elders. These marks are both symbolic and practical, often inscribed with details of their accomplishments and the skills they have mastered. The ceremony solidifies their status as adult hunters and warriors, ready to take on the challenges of their world. The reproduction cycle of the Yacha is a testament to their resilience, strength, and unwavering commitment to their way of life. From the moment they are born, they are shaped by their environment and culture, emerging as some of the most formidable beings in the universe. In conclusion, the reproduction cycle of the Yacha, or predators, is a complex and fascinating process that reflects their warrior culture and advanced biology. 
Despite their similarities to reptiles, Yacha give birth to live young, with females playing a crucial role in nurturing and training the next generation. From intense courtship rituals to the rigorous training of their pups, every aspect of Yacha reproduction is designed to ensure the survival and strength of their species. This deep dive into their reproductive practices reveals much about their resilience, strength, and unwavering commitment to their way of life. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of the Yacha. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into the lore. Until next time, happy hunting!